News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Wednesday, October 3rd, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. It's day four of Oracle Open World, one of the world's largest tech conferences for business decision makers, IT management, and line of business end users, which will come to a close at the Moscone Center tomorrow. Joining us now from San Francisco to summarize some of the conference highlights is Wikibon Chief Analyst Dave Vellante. Welcome to the show, Dave. Hi, Kristen. So Dave, update us on yesterday's keynotes. We want to hear all about the morning keynotes especially. Well, as we talked about yesterday in our morning call, Kristen, uh, Joe Tucci was up. And as expected, Joe Tucci was very respectful. Uh, he's presenting to an audi audience on uh, Oracle's home court. And basically, he did exactly what we thought he would do. He gave the audience a heavy dose of cloud meets big data, talked about uh, EMC and, and VMware's virtualization strategy their cloud strategy. He also talked a lot about Flash. He, in a way, kind of geeked out for a while with the audience, which was kind of fun to watch, and uh, was very avuncular, and I've called Joe Tucci the godfather of the, of the IT industry, and he presented himself as a, a, a great ambassador, so that was very strong. And then Jeremy Burton, EMC's uh, CMO and now head of, of products, came out, and took a couple of jabs at, at Oracle, very tongue-in-cheek, lightweight. At one point, he said, choice and flexibility. We want to give you choice and flexibility, something that you haven't heard much about at Oracle Open World, which was kind of funny. We had Jeremy uh, on the Cube later on in the afternoon, asked him about that. We kind of had fun with it. But in general, I thought that what EMC did was they put forth their strategy uh, and juxtaposed their approach relative to Oracle and really I think did a good job appealing to the Oracle crowd. I heard you mention Flash. What were some of the other big show themes yesterday? Well, you know, Oracle first and foremost is a software company. The irony is that Sunday night in Larry Ellison's keynote he was talking about big iron and, and the hardware. <laughs> and it was also interesting yesterday to note that EMC was up there largely talking about software, big data and automated tiering software and the like. So when you walk the show floor, it's very much a software show. The big integrators there, the big partners of Oracle like Accenture and others are really pushing Fusion apps. It's a big business for them to integrate Fusion apps, to get them up and running. That really is a major focus of what's going on at, at Oracle Open World. At the same time, since Oracle's acquisition of Sun, they have become this new type of player. So you do see and hear a lot about things like flash storage. Flash accelerates database performance. It's a crowd of database administrators, largely, and they want to see faster performance. So you heard a lot about flash in the, in the sense of it affecting the performance of the database. We also heard about a, a kind of a boring topic that we talked about on theCUBE, which was protecting the data. Remember, people running Oracle applications are running their most mission critical data in the Oracle database. And so protecting that data and backing up in a proper way is, is critical. Oracle announced a new database, 12C. You're hearing a lot about that. Oracle's pushing very hard. Of course, the C stands for cloud. And that's the other big theme that you heard. Of course, we all remember a couple years ago, Larry Ellison at the Churchill Club ranting about how cloud is water vapor and it's just a bunch of servers and storage and memories inside of uh, a, a data center uh, offered online. It's something that Oracle claims they've been doing for a long, long time. So you're hearing a lot about, about cloud. It's interesting to note when you walk the show floor, uh, Amazon Web Services has a booth there. So they're clearly a competitor that wants to get a piece of that Oracle customer pie. Now, Oracle founder Larry Ellison, what did he have to say in his keynote? What were some of the major topics? Well, Larry was a uh, classic Larry, on point, um, somewhat more measured than I think he's been in the past, but did a very good job of laying out Oracle's strategy. Uh, and as I said, Oracle's a software company first. He focused a lot on Fusion apps. And one of the things he talked about, and of course, remember last year he told us that it took six years to develop that, that, that Fusion portfolio, the middleware and the Fusion apps. So he spent a fair amount of time conveying to the audience the benefits of uh, Fusion Apps. I thought the most interesting part of his keynote was, again, his cloud discussion. He talked about 
the consumption by their customers of Fusion apps, and he kept emphasizing in classic Larry way, we have a lot of customers. And so in a style that he's used before, he went through and gave examples of, of companies like Overstock and Hitachi Data Systems and many, 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 many others pointing out that they have a lot of customers for their Fusion apps, but not only the Fusion apps, for the online version in the Oracle Public Cloud, which Oracle announced last year. And he made the, he gave the audience uh, some, some data, said that two-thirds of the sales of Fusion apps are online in the Oracle Public Cloud. Now, what many people might not know is he's probably talking a, a large part of that is Taleo and, and Right Now, two companies that Oracle acquired. Now, as I said, it took six years for Oracle to develop that whole fusion strategy. It's all written in Java, and, and those two companies write their software in Java, and so I guess that's how Larry's including them in that whole mix, and I think it's a legitimate thing to include them, but the point is that he's trying to emphasize and demonstrate to the world that Oracle has a public cloud strategy, that it has a SaaS strategy to really try to combat Salesforce.com. The other thing he talked about is that he said just because we're in the cloud doesn't mean we have to ignore industry standards or that we can go proprietary. So in classic Ellison fashion, he took the biggest criticisms of Oracle, i.e. that they're closed and that they're proprietary, and he turned them into a benefit saying that all of our software is written in Java, industry standard software that interconnects and can share data across applications. So it's, in essence, he was making the counter point that Jeremy Burton made. He actually used the word uh, choice. And so we give you the choice because we use open standards. So again, very strong presentation by Ellison. The, the last thing I'll tell you is he gave uh, a demo, a long, long demo, uh, which was their attempt to show that they're in the big data space. And the bottom line of the demo was big data needs big iron, uh, which is kind of ironic. Uh, I think there are a lot of people might disagree with that. I think in general, big data and big iron don't necessarily go together, but it's clear that Oracle's strategy is to bring big exadata and exalytics expensive iron to the big data space. Dave, you've been there since the conference began on Sunday. So I really want to hear your overall assessment of Oracle Open World. Well, we often joke that Oracle Open World is called Oracle Closed World. Why do we do that? Well, they're, they're big tents and you feel like you're enclosed and you're really, it's all about Oracle. Uh, Oracle lets its partners in and the partners give some keynotes, but it really always comes back to Oracle. It's very well orchestrated. Um, and I think the bottom line, Kristen, is that this is a big show and there's a lot of customers here and everybody has to appeal to those customers. And so they've got to dance to that Oracle drumbeat and they do. And so I think overall the show is not as exciting as some of the other shows. It's, um, it's kind of constraining in a way, but it's big business. And there was a lot of business being done at this event. We've talked a lot about Oracle's new strategy. Um, is, do, we, do we believe that this is really game changing or is it just sort of a marketing ploy? Well, I think it is game changing. I think Oracle's acquisition of Sun really changed the, the computer industry's landscape. As John Furrier pointed out many times, you know, Larry Ellison wants to be the Steve Jobs of the enterprise, bringing hardware and software together. And that's what they've done. Their whole strategy is to engineer hardware and software together. When Oracle bought Sun, most pundits predicted that Oracle would spin out the hardware business, that it wouldn't want to be in the hardware business. Well, in that sense, Oracle did change the game with things like Exadata and that whole push toward bringing hardware and software together. It changed the dynamics of the industry, it changed their partnership relationships, and it really changed in many cases the value proposition that companies are uh, putting forth to their customers. So I do think it's game changing. Who do we see as Oracle's biggest competitors now? Well, the IT industry, Kristen, has become an oligopoly where you have five or six of the largest companies that kind of control the chessboard. And of course those companies, including Oracle, are companies like IBM, uh, certainly Microsoft, Cisco, Intel. I would put VMware and EMC in there as well uh, because they've got so much momentum. So I think in terms of Oracle's biggest competitors, 
you still have to put IBM up there. And the reason I do that is because IBM and Oracle uniquely sell to the Fortune 1000 more effectively than any other corporations. That's where they make a lot of their money and a lot of their margins. At the same time, I would put VMware and EMC in there because they have such industry momentum. VMware is trying to become the cloud platform of the enterprise. And Oracle, of course, is using its database to try to be the, the, the platform of the enterprise. And now with its new cloud strategy, the cloud platform of the enterprise. And of course, you know, Microsoft, while still relevant, I think is the competitor that, that Oracle knows well. I do think there is a, an emerging set of competitors, particularly in the big data space, that approach the world very differently than Oracle. So collectively, I think the open source movement is also a big competitor. And I think Oracle will do, again, what we've talked about on theCUBE a lot, is they will wait until the industry trend crosses the chasm and then they'll jump in and grab that company and acquire that company. So really, I think it's IBM, I think it's VMware, and I think it's the open source movement and the big data movement that are the, the big three competitors. And then of course, there are you know, many, many others uh, around the periphery. Well, Dave, thanks so much for your input and we'll be talking with you again soon. All right, thanks for having me on, Kristen. For more breaking analysis and the latest in tech innovation, keep up to date with Newsdesk on SiliconANGLE TV, number one in tech event coverage.